All right, welcome back. I believe we're up to uh, part 12. Uh, you seen in the last part that I got the hull done, the planking on the hull all finished. Um, I want to show you a little something here. I, I decided to sit down and um, go through the directions a little bit, you know, see where I was at because I haven't looked at them for a while since I've been planking. And uh, I'm sitting here and I'm reading, and it talks about stage four, mounting the hull. It's on page 19. And it says here, right here, I highlighted it, two brass pedestals and a baseboard are supplied. So I tore my box apart because I thought, I don't remember seeing that. I went through that box, opened it up, took everything out, looked and looked, and I thought, where's my two brass pedestals? Where's my base? I thought, you know, I, I'm not going to call them because I wouldn't use it anyway. I've got them brass pedestals on my other model, and I don't care for them all that much unless you want to drive a screw up through them or something because the ship... That, that's a lot of weight and, and things to be balancing on two little notches about that size. So I wasn't worried about it, but I thought right here tells me I got them. So I get to looking at the box, and on the outside of the box, right here, there's the picture, and right here it says, Hardwood display base and breast pedestals are not included. Huh? <laughs> what's this say? And what's what's here? What? You know? Once again. All right. I'm getting ready to do the deck. And I was reading in here, and I got it highlighted that the uh, foredeck, the planks are pretty much parallel to the keel, that, that keel that runs down the center of the ship. But when you get to the, the quarter deck back here, they're supposed to sort of taper towards the back. All right? And what they want you to do is run them parallel with this little cabin that you put on there. So these couple of outside boards here are basically supposed to run parallel with this cabin. And I, you know, I'm, I'm not happy with that because that means that you're going to start tapering them to the back. And I don't like that. I want full boards. And you only got about a half an inch there, I would imagine. I, I have to look at the plans. There's not a lot of room there between the cabin and that uh, bulwarks or whatever you call them. So I'm just going to run my board straight. I ain't going to worry about trying to taper them and run them parallel with that. That's the plan. And you know how I come up with these plans. I tell you guys something, and the next video you watch, I changed it. But uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to run all my boards right straight down the center of the ship and on back. Alright? Now let's get to the ship. Okay, so here's the ship. Um, like I said, I, I, I've been sitting and reading through some of the directions, making sure I'm caught up, and, uh, cause, and uh, looking at the plans to see if there's anything I'm missing before I start sealing up this deck. Um, if you can see here, you see that black stuff I got in there? And it's on both sides. And it's pretty much in the same place on both sides. Okay? And I got some of dabbed around back in here. Alright, that is tulip. If anybody knows what that is, right there it is. Tulip. It's basically just a thick paint. And uh, women use it to make designs on t-shirts or whatever. But us guys, we found out a better use for it. Uh, it works good as a light blocker. And what I was having, that where them two lines are, 
of that stuff. You remember I told you I put a couple planks on, one on each side with that super glue. And before I could get them set and nice and tight, they'd done set up. Well, I was holding this up to the light, okay, holding it up to a light, and I could see a real thin little line there where that board didn't get tight. So I put that in the back there, and that's a light blocker, and it works great. You cannot see through it now. All right, and also, before I started this deck, I went ahead and worked on the transom back here, this rear area. I got... Uh, the inside of the transom little boards on there and then I did the deck back here it looked like on the plans that the back part of the deck the boards went this way okay so you can see I got that done right there now I still got some work to do right up around here when I go to put that one piece on I am going to have a slight arch in it, not much, just a little bit, but uh, I still got to do some sanding up here, but I'll worry about that when, I, when the time comes. Alright, so uh, let me go ahead and show you why I really wanted to uh, show you this part, because I, there's something I've done here that uh, I feel pretty important. So. Uh, Let's get on with the show. All right, but what I want to show you, and I told you, now that you got this open, if you want to do anything, now's the time to do it. I got to look in at the plans, okay? And where are these, uh, where are they at? There's one, there's a section of them here, and a section up here. For the shrouds, where the dead eye comes down, the shroud leg comes down, meets the dead eye, and I believe what they call it a chain plate. I'll correct that on my video if I'm wrong. Anyway, you got to make that out of brass, and that comes down through the rail, down onto the side of the ship. Okay, and that's what's giving you a little tug of war between that that shroud line pulling this way and this dead eye pulling this way so you mount them to the side of this ship right here there's uh, four or five of them I, I, I'm not sure they go back here for the main mask and then there's uh, the same amount probably goes up here for the fore mask now I got to thinking to mount that you drill little holes in that piece of brass that they give you and then you mount it to the side of the ship well if you remember these boards are only a sixteenth of an inch thick and by the time you do some sanding on them to get this all smoothed down you're getting down to some pretty thin wood so I didn't want to take the chance of trying to drive a little nail in there to hold them on and there's nothing for them to grab to all right so I made these little blocks and you see them and I went inside here let me bring this up see if you can see it and I put a small one here because they actually start about uh, where they come in at them dead eyes start almost even with the uh, the mast and then work back because they're pulling that way so I put a smaller one up here and then I put one in here that filled in this whole gap and then I went back here put a smaller one back here and a larger one that filled in that whole gap and then I will do it on the other side I got one of them already in so I'm using epoxy on this okay and you just take this little thing and it, this one will go right in here like this just set it in there and get it up against that the bottom of the deck okay I know it's hard to see what I'm doing but you get the idea you just slop that in there and uh, I'm gonna epoxy it in there 
that way I have got some meat right here when I go to put them nails in to hold that uh, chain plate <laughs> I should have looked this up before I told you all about it um, I'm gonna put this on hold and I'm gonna run over and look and see what they call it I believe it's called chain plate okay I'm back and yeehaw I was right it's called chain plates let me see if I can get it up here so you can see it right up here on the top that right there okay that nails to the side of that ship and the dead eye the lower dead eye is connected to it and that's what I'm I'm worried about nailing that into something solid so that's why I put these little blocks of wood in there and what I will do is where that hole is I'll drill a tiny little hole and I'll take that little nail or whatever it is I'm going to use and a little brass nail I believe is what I will use and I put a little epoxy on it and get it in there but at least I've got more than a sixteenth of an inch piece of wood for that to grab a hold of I got a little bit of meat back here now and actually I've got to go across the directions and make sure there's nothing else like that that I gotta watch for so uh, I just happened to catch that. I mean, you don't have to do that, but I, I'm, I am. You know, I want, like I said, I want a little bit more there than just that little piece of deck planking there. All right, so I'm going to get on with the planking. And let me t show you. When I mix my epoxy, like I said before, I take these little tabs, rip off a piece, put this five-minute epoxy on there, okay put it on that piece of paper mix it all up with a little stick here spread it with this little stick and then when that's dry just pitch it I never never ever take a bottle of glue and get it up by the ship everything goes on one of these little pads of paper and then I, if it's a if it's glue I will take a toothpick if it's epoxy, I'll use a stick. Even with super glue, if I use super glue, I don't like getting that bottle near the ship. This stuff runs like water, and if you make a mistake and it takes off on you, you'll have a hell of a time trying to clean it up. All right, so I'm going to get started with this deck and uh, get this done. I went out today and bought me some little saw blades that go in my uh, utility knife that go in this little knife right here I bought some little saw blades right there so that one oh man them are all oily oh man but um, so when I go doing that nibbing or nibbling whatever the hell I got so many weird words uh, I'll have these little saw blades to cut into that decking all right we'll see how much time we're running with here might be some more might not let's see I had a guy ask me a question about something and I can't remember what it was oh well if I happen to think of it I'll mention it in another one okay I remember you know you, you get to be my age and you have these little Alzheimer's moments um, I had a, a fellow leave me a comment and uh, he's from the land down under I've got quite a few guys watch me from down Australia but uh, he left a comment thanking me for putting up this video with a whole long series of doing the whole ship and he had mentioned it's hard to find anybody on the internet that that will do a whole series of building the ship and 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 that's true I've watched bits and pieces of so many guys doing their ships and and I guess it's because they take so long to do I, I've seen some guys building ships it takes them a year two years 
They'll put it away, come back to it. And, uh, and it's true. It, it, it's hard to find a complete series of somebody building a ship from start to finish. Now, what you have to realize is, I am no expert at this. I don't want anybody to watch these videos and think, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, I had, I had built the HMS Bounty, and uh, it's about half this size. And I did all the rigging on that. I did the full rigging, the running rigging, the standing rigging, the whole nine yards. So I'm familiar with that, and I know what I'm, I've got coming up. But this is the first time I've ever planked a ship. So, uh, you know, I might make some mistakes here and there. And, uh, but don't take what I say and what I do as gospel because, I, you know, every model is, is a new experience for me. But, you know, being my second wooden ship does not make me no expert, no way. I don't claim to be. Uh, you guys could probably find a better way to do it. I look for the easiest, not always the easiest and simplest way, but the way that, uh, it's hard to explain it, that looks good and it doesn't take a lot of effort. You know, if I can find a better way to build a mousetrap, I'll do it. But, uh, and that's an idea. But anyway, um, you know, you, you'll watch my video and see how I plank the side of the ship. And you can watch two or three other videos and see them do it the, a, a different way. I did it this way. It worked for me. And like I said, it came out nice. I'm, I'm really pleased with it. But does it make it right? I don't know. You know. But uh, I've always wanted to... Uh, to see somebody do this from start to finish and you just don't get it and like I said it's be, I, I'm retired so I got all day to sit here and do and, and play with this thing uh, like I said I, I'd seen one video where a guy put it away for a year he only works on it in the winter time and he's about halfway and it's he's been on it for two years so you stick it in there with me uh, it, short it's gonna take some videos you know, this is probably going to get get us up to 30, I don't know, I'm just guessing, 30 or 40 videos before this thing's done. But, uh, we got the hard part done. I think that planking was probably the hard part. Like I said, I've been into that, uh, um, doing that rigging, and it, it's tough, but I, I, I know what I'm, I'm doing a little bit when I come to that. And I'm no expert at that either, you know. All right. So uh, I think that'll be enough for this video. I was hoping to show you the deck planking, but uh, it didn't work out that way. That'll be in the next one. I should be able to get started on that now that I got everything all set up, ready to go. All right, so thanks for watching. Okay, okay. Before I sign off here for sure this time, um, <clears throat> there is one guy. I want to I wanna mention this one guy. There is one fella, he has his own website, and he is on YouTube, but uh, he is building a ship, and I don't remember what it's called. It's got cannons all over it and everything. And once again, I should have had my act together, but this just came to me. But uh, he's here in the United States, and his, his name's Donnie. His website is Ships of Scale, and I will put that across the bottom. Let me see. This goes. This is backwards when I look at it. It'll be from here to here. There you go. Um, Ships of Scale. Uh, I've learned a, a lot from watching him. This guy is building one hell of a ship. Looks nice. And... Uh, you know, it's one of them old tall ships, it's, you know, with all the cannons on it. And uh, you talk about some rigging. <laughs> this, this guy's probably had nightmares of thinking about rigging. But check out his website. He's probably one of the only guys I've seen on the internet that, will, that has a, a complete show. There is some other guys that I've watched, and... I've got real interested in them, and then all of a sudden they'll get to uh, they'll get to the rigging and, and they're gone. 
I, you know, there's no more up, and they, it might be two, three years since they last posted. But watch this guy, Donnie. Ships of scale. All right, that's it. I'm sure I'm done this time, I think. Ciao.